What's the point of banning Callista to give Kate? Are they more scared of Callista? I think there are champs that make Caitlyn useless. But even in Callista's worst matchups, she can kill you. Mm. I am curious though, like usually right here you would Oh, not like that. Oh god. MF I guess. You know the seven one thing about Brazil is like uh, maybe this is gonna sound really ignorant, but like how much of like the league community the league playing community in Brazil actually cares about that. Because, like, personally, I don't have any... I don't give a single fuck about, you know, how America does in soccer. It's a pretty big cultural thing over there. I would say... So like, everyone cares about soccer in Brazil. Or football. Whatever. Okay. Not literally everyone, but a lot... I feel like it isn't even fucking. I don't know. Like, it has like nuts. From an outside perspective, like yeah, that probably sucked, but I don't really see how it would like trigger anybody. Yeah, I think they care about it probably too much, but hmm. I don't know. The, <laughs> JoJo's tweet was fucking hilarious. I was actually wondering what kind of responses he would get, and it didn't seem like people were like that mad about it. They mostly just spamming that one dude. The naked dude. I'm at Pamumu versus Caitlyn with Org Lux Band. I like it. Does anyone Good. else? I think it's ironic that they call their sport football, but the goalie picks it up with his hands. Whoa. Like, how does that make any sense? I'm intrigued. There must be an actual reason to this, but I don't know it. Why is American football even called football? Like Because you kick the ball? When you punch but it, you, you throw the field goals. You throw the ball way more than you kick the ball, right? Oh, it's one foot long. I mean, every game the ball is getting kicked several times. Hmm. So how about this draft? You know, Maokai jungle again, kind of poggers. Maokai versus Sejuani. Uh, Maokai versus Sejuani sounds like a matchup that, like, I don't know, like, it's like season five when junglers are just tanks. That's all, that's all you are. CC and your tank. Yep. Sorry, what's your timer at again? You just want to leave your mitel and then kind of get out of there. Yeah. Mm. I haven't seen much of this. Match. 25, 26, uh, 27, 28. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, we've talked at length about Aatrox and how he's so uh, easy. I only need to hear like one number and I can sync it up. Don't tell Sneaky though, he, he doesn't think it's possible. Sneaky definitely failed math class. In elementary school. Do you consider Fjord and Aatrox counter or is it skill matchup? Uh oh, Maokai is just dead. Or is he? What the fuck is happening? Razork is dead? How is Razork dead the result of that? Holy sheesh! And Damn, LLL's going ham! Wow, I really thought they were going to dive him. I guess they couldn't. I wonder if they're going to consider putting Rux back in. Not... This is... I, don't I, I legit don't think they can. They can't? I think it's not even I think it's because he was an emergency sub. I think he's, like, legit not allowed to play. Oh, okay. I'm not one of those, like, Redditors who, like, you know, actually thinks that should happen. But... It's just but he prioritizes having the good laning phase and the community narrative and stuff. Oh my yeah, god, I so mean, Giga Chad, you know, he's he did play really well. Let, let's be honest here. He played really well. 
Croc is, so Tinone's gonna um, be fine here. Croc yeah, but I mean, Hill saying has been on Fnatic for how many years? He's like, a super important part of the team. Two wins with a sub is not enough to be like, yeah, you know, you're getting the starting spot. Hill, Hill is Sorry, Hilly shouldn't have got player. COVID, bitch. Yeah. That's true. He's like the only player who can, like, int, and it's actually expected slash celebrated. Yep. Wow, the fact that Maokai lived here is fucking wild. I, Razork actually kind of trolled his flash. Oh, wait, Razork didn't even get the crab. Who the, who the fuck got the crab? I'm not gonna take that actually. I think my chat's dad could beat up your chat's dad. No way, dude. My chat dad is fucking jack. Uh oh, Razork's legit dead again. My chat predicted that a few minutes ago. Dude, this is actually the thing. It's like when you're playing shit like tank junglers, people think they're so easy, so they just run it down when they play them. Yeah. Too far ahead again. Credit to but also, Maokai it's like, it's like, is... It's like the Orn Tops. Maokai is definitely the, like... One of the best, I would I would imagine, at catching champs like Sedge. Yeah, I mean... But like, it, when he's it on you, he... Like... Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Um, well, I was going to say, when he's on you, he blocks all the dashes that get body blocked. And, like, you can't really outplay his W if you, if you let him get in range. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's true. You can do stuff, though, like, just not use your Q till you stun him with your E and then, like, get some space and Q away. Mm. Uh, but, I mean, one thing that I do see happen is, like, I, I'm kind of being tongue-in-cheek about tanks being harder to play than carry junglers, but one thing is, like, a lot of players who, like, you know, the typical, like, I only want to play carry junglers, like, they get so used to playing champs with dashes that can, like, get into shitty spots and get out with the dashes, Yeah. right? And yeah. so then you pl you play something like Maokai where like if you're overextended you're just legit dead if they collapse on you so like it's not so much like the mechanics obviously of Maokai are piss easy but like knowing where to be and like stuff I think is potentially harder. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Does Ruck die there? Rux does not die there. Woo! Emergency sub, emergency sub. Hilly unfortunately has caught COVID again and needs to take the next flight back. That is unlucky. Please pray for Wait, dude, I'm not even talking about Spika, although Spika did say he needs to play champs with dashes. Yes, I was yeah. more thinking about like, I remember Rush has also said that. Like, Rush needs to play champs with dashes. And, like, Dardoch. I remember when he was on TSM. It was, it was There was some wild stat where it was, like, TSM without Thresh or Tom Kench just lost, like, every single game because Dardoch would consistently, like, get caught out and need, like, a Lantern or an Eat to get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just think about Soli Q jumblers, right? Like, what you're saying. Oh, my God. Really nice bush play by, by Loud. Like, that was so hard to react to. Um, the fact that Hilly died there is kind of wild. Yep, through his through his shield. I mean, MF and Mumu is just crazy at level six. How does Brum Ooh, actually oh, die? Oh, 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 oh my god! What the oh, fuck? He don't do him like that. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, that's fucking right, good. All right, all right, Holy all right. shit! All right, uh, 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 I like it. I like that it. was funny. That was nice. <sighs> Holy fuck, Giga Chad, France. Sorry, back to what I was saying. Um, Solo Q jugglers usually climb playing like Kane and Kindred specifically, and then they play competitive and they have to play champs like Trundle. Uh, and it's just. It's just not the same, you know? Like, if, obviously, if you spend your entire Solo Q career climbing with like Kane and Kindred, you're just unkillable. And then you you, you play something with no dash, and you're just fucking feeding your your brains out. So, I I feel like really Kane is probably the worst jungler for like getting you ready to be a professional <laughs> player. Like, almost no no skills you learn playing Kane are gonna transfer to like any other champion. Yeah, 
he clears faster than every other champ. You like you never play for lanes as Kane. You just AFK farm, get your form, kill everyone. Yeah. Sprint through walls like uh, it's just dirty. Yeah, I mean, Spika said he he can only play champs with dashes. Like, and he was like somewhat joking, but he's also a bit serious. Oh. Brands has no flash. Oh, but he is fine. How does he live? What the fuck? Wait. Oh. Wait. Oh. That play. Dude, these Brands ults. Dude, when did MF start one shotting people with no items? He has a fucking Kraken Slayer and his ults just killing people from full. Actually, it's <laughs> from full. I mean, it's a it's a full channeled MF ult, so I. I would hope that you could kill somebody when they sit in an entire, you know, the max duration of it. And it still didn't even kill. He killed him with Q at the end. And a Kraken Frog. I don't know, man. This shit's doing giga damage. It's it's doing big damage. It's doing big damage. Like, the, to, it, it feels like the damage you would do if you were going, like, full lethality, like, just that kind of MF. But he's just going yeah. standard AD carry shit, and it's all still cranking. Yeah. Back to what you were saying, I think, uh, I, I kept memeing wonder that he came, in first champs Q game, he queued against Lorlo, he played Aatrox into Fjord and he got shit on and he said that match was unplayable. <laughs> Wait, Lorlo shit on wonder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Was, Holy fuck, I, mean, I want to see that. It seemed super one-sided in terms of the matchup. And it makes sense, right? Like, Fiora does seem like she would counter Aatrox. I, I've been fucking that matchup as Aatrox. It feels yeah. pretty bad. I, I I don't know. Like, it's. I think it is playable for Aatrox, but it's hard and you have to know the matchup really well. Because, like, there, there's a lot of shit you can do with, like, you know, you save your E to dodge her repost and, like, or just not hit her with the sweet spots. I think it's hard, but not completely fucked. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I can see that. And even look at now, like, this, he's, um, he got a random kill in top river, but he's, like, 800 gold ahead, and maybe he just will never reach the point where he's just getting all in by Fiora. Mm-hmm. Like, you even saw the trade he did beforehand, like, he seemed to know the matchup pretty well. Like, he, he knew Fiora was going to repost the W, so he, like, started up his third Q animation so that it would hit after the repost ended while he's stunned. That kind of stuff. Just... Yeah, yeah. It, it, like, it's pretty impressive. I think any of us who try to play this matchup as Aatrox against Good Fjord would probably just get murdered. I would get murdered on both sides, dude. I <laughs> yeah. So horrible at top lane. Top lane matchups are actually so hard. I feel like it takes a lot of practice. Yeah. What what I would say about bot lane that is probably a for me at least it's the most important ability is like the ability to just visualize a fight like play it out in your head and like how accurate are you at that just based off just playing those champs seeing but like do that like those champs fight for this bot lane. Yeah, like I I think like you should be able to do that. Oh, he's fucking dead. Yeah, he's fucked. Oh, no, 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 Wait a sec, no, what? No, no, Halo say? Dude, dude, Hilly is having the worst two games since coming here. He died level two in his first game, and then everyone spammed Hilly Int. And then this game, he is playing horrible. I mean, he, he wow. just killed him F. <laughs> Gonna call him bad after he gets a kill? My bad, dude. Oh! Oh, oh, that Mumu! Oh. Look, dude, this CEO's guy has been inting every single game, but he looks like fucking Karia right now. The CEO of support. He is. Is he a cool enough CEO to party with Andrew Tate? <laughs> yeah, I think so. And CEOs has been removed from uh <laughs> from worlds. <laughs> I, I actually still cannot believe Ocelot was so stupid in that situation. I know, dude. Like, what a fucking explosive way to tank your career. I, My god. I can't believe he got <laughs> removed from fucking CEO, like, permanently. Well, dude, you, you, you know, I'm not like, that surprised. What, you know what he cost the investors, right? 
Like, like realistically, what did he do though? Like he shot a video of someone he was hanging out with. Like obviously that guy is insane. Yeah, that's all he did. You got it, Sneaky. Yes. I mean that just the fact that he would really spend time with that person is is already gonna make fifty percent of the world really uncomfortable to, to work with them or support him. I mean, then he's a like dumbass, but like yeah. how does that completely remove him from the spot? That's fucking insane. Because he he cost his he cost G two a spot in the Valorant franchise, which is like tens of millions of dollars of value. It would be so, hard to find someone that's like worse for your reputation to hang out with an Andrew Tate. Like, yeah, it literally just stands for like everything that like the fucking progressive world is against. It's pretty bad. Um, I mean, it's extremely bad. And I think that his response to it was should have just been like, you know, I didn't know, and I'm sorry. Even if he didn't mean it, even even if it was just pure horse shit, and he's gonna continue to party with them and just not post pictures of it, he could just be like, I had no idea, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, but he like doubled down, and then G2 didn't make Valorant franchise, and in that sense, he's a horrible businessman, right? Because his mistake costs like so much. Was it much. really because of that though? Like not making yeah, Valorant? Pretty sure yes, it is. Yes. Pretty sure that. I'm 100 percent sure it is. They were was... locked. How, how positive are you in that? Because the timing between. Like well, how, how did they just go from not accepting some other team to accepting? Based on that, okay. in like three days. So, so EG got in, Lena's Le saying, EG got into the Valorant franchise. The difference between EG and G2 making the Valorant franchise for NA is like, it makes no sense from an outside perspective in any way. Like, EG is just a horrible team in Valorant. Um, but mm. they made it simply because G2. Ilya's getting Carlos hinted it. it. Oh. Caitlyn going wild. Oh. Wait, would you would you be going? I feel like if I was Kate, I would think about going crack in this game. There's a lot of tanks on the enemy team, and you don't need the Gale. <clears throat> yeah, it does seem a little weird. Only thing I can think is like you want to get out of the wombo. There's a lot of shit you can dodge. They're gonna be diving on you. But you lose a lot of damn. Yeah, he doesn't really need to Gale to outplay Mumu at all either. Oh god. Atrox got fucked. Atrox got fucked. Oh, I think Humanoid is just crazy. He's been playing amazing every every single game. Every single world, it feels like mid gap is, is so pronounced. The mid gap. Always I mean, has been. It does feel that way, no? Like mid is always maybe mid and jungle as a combo is like the most important at worlds. Yeah, I think like mid mid jungle uh, support top lane honestly are like the roles that matter the most. No, but like top and bottom feel like they matter more when we watch LCS playoffs. But then like at worlds, I always feel like the mid laners are carrying games. Mm. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just like. I mean, I would say top lane at Worlds generally is the role to me that seems like it stands out more than it does in regional play. Oh. oh! Damn, Brance is fucking 1 HP, no flash. He's so He's stuck fucked in there. here. Oh! No! God, he's not fucked! Oh my wow. god. Wow. And then they zoom in on a Herald cry. Uh. Dude, oh, surely that was not the most climatic part of that whole play. That was an accident. Uh, a bit of an accident. Dude, <laughs> fucking CEOs is actually kind of carrying this game. Yeah, Loud's playing really well. Actually, it's, it's like CEO and France. They're just carrying. Rocketing ahead in this mid game, and this is so good for timing as well. You can pick up the Baron, you can get research through in. Yeah, I, to your point though, I, I think personally, I haven't noticed any like huge change in worlds as far as like how much agency each role has because it kind of depends on meta, too. So but like, I, I, maybe it's not meta, but like when there's a big mid gap at worlds, it's really fucking loud. Not no pun intended, but. 
I'm thinking about Humanoid Victor just completely hard carrying the game. Uh, Jojo Silas hard carrying the game. Like Zeka in the DRX games, he is just totally fucking insane. Uh, <clears throat> but well, yeah, but we're talking about like worlds as a whole holistically. You only mention like recent games from this world's play-ins. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Because I mean, people have been playing. There have been some big, big mid gaps so far, for sure. Yeah, uh, that's true. I'm just talking about so far. Uh, maybe as worlds progresses and like the skill levels are more even. Yeah, top or bot is more important. How do you guys feel about Fiora team fighting? Do you think it's like the worst shit ever? It should never be done, or do you think people overreact how bad she is at it? It's not that bad. It's, it depends on her items, for sure. I think you should. Mm. It's like split pushing is like the should be the strat that gets her to the point where she can team fight. Oh my god! Rance is kind of in a horrible spot here. Oh, he's he did stopwatch on top of. Uh, oh no! Way. Wow! I think Tan that was so sick. Keep getting away that was with this. right there. Someone ate the trap for him. Yeah. Someone that was... ate the trap for him. That was so. Damn! Loud smart. is actually playing really well. Yeah. Oh, they're fucked. No, Fnatic's oh. gonna lose. They're gonna, they're gonna lose the game. They're gonna lose the game. Yeah. Oh. It's over. Robo wants it. Holy fuck. Fnatic losing to Loud? That's actually pretty wild. And, and I feel like Loud actually just played well this game. Like, obviously, Fnatic made yes. mistakes. Yes. Hilly and Razorak ran it down, but uh, Loud did play really well. Is this Kaboom did, all over did. again? Oh, it's doomed. Like, I, I even just looking at Dragons too, I didn't realize this, but Loud's on three. Like, it's so hard for Fnatic to come back. I, I just gotta say, like, so Dragons many as well. It's, it's like, Kaylin is like one auto off of killing somebody. I do wonder what would happen if she just played with Kraken and not Gale. It's a team effort. Great team fighting coming through, but already from the laning phase, could be the difference. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a pretty big, big difference in fights where you're free hitting. Wait, let's see who ate the trap for Brands. I think it's Silas. Okay, puts the trap down. Yep, Silas ate it. Oh, so it, it was so, so deliberate, good. too. It wasn't an accident. Yeah. He, like, oh, that actually dude. walked up into it. Yeah. Uh, like, seriously, like, actually, WoW Arena fucking strat at Worlds. I've never actually thought of doing that. I always just assume, like, if you have zonies against Kate, you're fucked, but... Yeah. That is an option. It's so rare that that would actually be a good play. Yeah. You have to be hard winning. Yeah. And protecting someone that matters. Yeah. Like, if your support's trap, 1 HP. Your carry, taking that fucking shot to the head, in like a even fight, will probably just lose you the fight. <laughs> Is that Branch they keep zooming in on with the bot gap? Yeah, thing on his arm. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that guy's got swag. He does. He does. It's funny as fuck, man. He's a Chad for sure. I still think Kalen might be one of those weird picks. Little weird champ. I mean she historically i feel like she turns out to be a bait more than she turns out to be like the most broken shit ever yeah yeah you you must play to her win condition right like she she cannot be two items to two items when the game hits 20 minutes she needs to be like ahead of everyone on the enemy team in terms of gold so mm -hmm. playing like some like kid rom does make too much sense yeah, not gonna get any that I, way. I think part of this game might come down to that like huge bot fight early because Caitlyn's always one of those weird cases of like you want to play to her lane but you don't actually want to get into like big ass skirmishes like you don't want to really three v three you don't want to fight in the river you yeah. just want to like let her do her thing in lane undisturbed and like poke them down and take their tower. Oh, uh -huh. this is real. This is totally fake news. Totally fake oh news. my god, he's full <laughs> HP. Oh, he's no. Gore Drinker, right? right. Yeah, yeah, he's Gore Drinker on yeah. Aatrox. GG. GG. The reason why Fnatic did that is they need to make an explosive fight happen before Drax 
spawns. Otherwise, the, the game's over, and yeah, then he just gets the dragon soul. So they're fucked either way. Yeah, it was an attempt. Did not work out. I respect the attempt. I mean, you're you're grasping at straws at that point in the game, so I don't mind that. Oh man. I do feel a bit bad for Hilly, like... Wait, what? someone said Ten Owens does it again? Was Ten Owens on Kaboom? Yeah, he was. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? That's hype. That's funny. I didn't know that. Actual bot gap. Yeah, Fnatic got smashed. I, I think a lot of this did come down to that early fight, though, going bad for them. Like, their comp just doesn't work well from behind. Yeah. And it was a super close fight. So good. That's... Egg versus Chiefs. Let's fucking go. Did you play against Ray's when he was here, Double F? No. I just watched him play. He gave me real lost vibes. <laughs> oh. Holy shit, that's fucking aggressive. Damn, that's super, Alpha. Super Omega winning because he's five stacked on his passive. True. He knows they're still level one, so he has a window to look for it. But Rage stop from the EG substitute coming through there. Eldorak also like that hook still on cooldown. How did Chiefs get that hard fucked by a level two? I don't know. I'm gonna be all honest. in like, like that. that. That's literally just like the most basic shit in the world. Like Leo's yeah, playing gonna... for two, and then like, what should you do if you're if you're Nautilus, right? You should wait for her. You should stack on your AD carry. You should wait for and back. Cancel it with your nice meme. Auto her, and you don't get stunned. You get to auto. Like, it's like they they didn't trust like the most basic mechanic in the fucking game, and and they gave up the the fight for. Too. Uh, very, very nice base actually by Chiefs though. He doesn't miss really anything off from that. He might at the end of like at the end of this balling situation, he might actually be ahead in CS. Well, I was at least not even looking for a dive there. What? Full HP gangplank. Vladly Sin. Fuck. I mean, that's actually just a waste of time. Think about lane, think about lane. He's actually ahead. After, after getting fucking pushed out of lane level one. I actually hate that about bot lane. I, I, sometimes, I don't know really why it happens, but it just happens. That's the Danny. What, what's the Danny? Just getting pushed out of lane level get, get one? Fucked level one and two and then come back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fucked a little later than that too. It can be so detrimental, like, you can never be able to recover. Sometimes it's like this. The perfectly even. Holy triple barrel! I guess that's to do with, like, if they can crash the wave before you get back, right? Cause, like, the enemy yeah. bot lane's still, you know, yeah. it's too early for them to insta-shove a wave. And then there was, like, no contests on the wave back, so then raise snowballs a big wave. All the way back to Kauri's side while denying creeps the entire time. Um, Dude, isn't it crazy for Kauri? Like, <clears throat> just played Academy all year and he's just like, all right, you're going to Worlds. Like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just chilling in Academy, bro. It is. I think it's obviously really good. It's for insane GG for him. To be playing in plans. Like, oh yeah, that too. Yeah. Realistically, right? There, there's not much of a difference between Kauri and Rays or any of these other wild card AD carries. He's he would probably go to those regions and stomp based on frost skill alone. But if you put him up against like fucking Death or any of the top AD ruler, he's going to look like a bot. Upset. I mean, and not, I'm not I'm not saying that like oh Kauri's so fucking bad. It's just like that's just what happens when you spend your whole year playing in academy and. The other guys are playing at the top of L scale, PL. So. 
Yeah, I mean, even most fucking top NA AD carries look like bots against those guys, too. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so, I, I, I will say, like, I'm happy that he gets to, like, warm up here, and he gets to, like, dip his toes, because then he has a higher chance of performing later. Oh my god, that juke on the Lee Sin Q? Lee Sin's kind of getting fucked here. Did you just get a camp? I didn't pay attention. Did he camp stolen Meteos? Yeah. Now he's just... Hecarim took the Raptors in his face. Jesus. Hecarim is so fucking good at stealing Raptors. Yeah. Because he's actually ramping up while he's doing it, whereas some champs like have to use their, all their spells just to kill the camp, and then they can't fight. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, he gets stronger and stronger. Fighting on it. Oh. oh, wow, that was quite crazy. If Vulcan got rooted on turret, he just dead. Ooh! Wow, that was absolutely insane by him. As, oh my as well god, that's well Watch it, Alador. Wow, Aladoric has serious fucking balls of steel or terrible reaction time. I can't tell which. I'm. I mean, that was an insane fucking read that that wasn't gonna hit him. I thought it was. Yeah. What's, what's yeah. game time? You guys know is Danny with the team at Worlds at all, or is he just like at home, like no intention of playing at all? Yeah, he's at he's at home. Damn. That's unexpected. Yeah. Why can't my mods update the on-screen text? What the fuck? Oh, that was a nice fucking ult by Inspired. Into no vision as well. Gets the AoE fear. Knocks Victor where they need him. They don't really find a target to compile the damage on. They don't the really bot wave is not great for EG, but EG, obviously EG, getting Herald matters a lot more. It looks like what happened is Chiefs got the bounce off of bot turret, and then EG just ditched that to go Herald. Now, it's like both sides played it well, because if Raze stays bot, he doesn't build this wave up for himself for later, so it's like fine for him to leave since he has very little to lose and like a lot to gain by leaving the wave like that. And then on the other side, I like that EG just sent it because they're stronger that timing to get Herald. This comes down to who played the fight better. Happy rush on Hecarim's kind of weird. Let's see this again. The juicy barrel. Watch the Hecarim. This is this is blind. This is gas. Pushes Nautilus away. Pushes Victor in. Really sick. I guess it wasn't totally blind because they saw Victor, but the other people he didn't see. Jojo is just totally shitting on this guy. I think oh. I think Jojo is actually really impressive so far. I think Jojo is good. Hot take. He's good at feasting upon noob mid laners. I mean, even within LCS, I think he arguably the best. For, for me, he's the best. Like, he's the mid laner that really one wants to play with. Better than Jensen? I mean, I don't think they performed that well in the playoffs. Did he? Who, who, which mid laner performed well in the playoffs? Jensen got kind of carried. I don't think. Like, oh. I, I would just say in terms of like raw skill and career trajectory, he's like the player that everyone wants to play with. I think he's not carried by the fact he has his good team, but I think it lets him do what he's doing. And it's like helping yeah. him grow. Like it's not like he, he would fit in anywhere. It definitely helps a lot. It definitely helps a lot. I think if you throw him into some other team, he's gonna look like dog shit. Really? I, I don't think he'd look like dog shit, but I do think it's a it's a valid question. Like how good does he look without inspired? Well, yeah. I mean, like I said, he's not carried by this team, but I think he's only able to be brought out like his potential because of it. Mm -hmm. oh. Ooh, what is steel? Holy fuck! Into a fat ult. There's no way he lives this right. Oh, so damn. Close. Almost. 
And Tally's dead again, I think. Maybe not. Oh, no kill this time though. Tally gets away. Arthur also trying to thread the needle. Finds the kill onto Jojo. Here's Top Boon. Big fucking angle there. Jojo gets away. It's Vulcan. Oh, oh no. And he's gone. For the boys on EG. I don't I don't see any NA mid laners playing the way he does, where he just gets like from timing and goes dive. Like he is he He is like always super active as a mid laner so obviously i think his teammates help a ton with the experience shot calling and like keeping him aware of stuff but between like jensen abadagi bjergsen jojo he's the one who probably does the most like he he's the most it's the most aggressive i think that's the way the game is like trending games where he takes over he's like fucking taking it over and uh a lot of the action usually starts with him moving. Wasn't playing really well in playoffs? I honestly don't remember that well. Pretty sure I, I Jensen did perform the best, but I don't know. I mean, he's on the winning team, right? Yeah. Oh. Wow. They are just getting just farmed up the ass. Nautilus goes for the pick on him and just ends up dying. EG did lose to 100 Thieves. I don't know. I, I don't even honestly remember all the fucking games. On Same. each individual player's performance. Hmm. I'd have to look it up. Wow, that was a fucked Herald. I wonder, that had to have been a misclick. There's no way you intentionally summon it like that. He's probably just trying to use his fucking sweeper and he's like, oh fuck, I have the Herald. <laughs> that, that actually happens, like. I still, <laughs> I still, like, will fucking cleanse when my teammates are dying. Like, yeah, it's so annoying. that's common as fuck. It's cringe. Ugh. It's so annoying because it's like a fucking double whammy. Now I'm in threat of dying because I have wasted cleanse. <laughs> Alright, how about cleanse is disabled until you can cleanse something? <laughs> that, that be so now. OP. <laughs> yeah, that would be so OP. It's the GG gold graph right there. All four people ahead. Oh. Uh oh. Hold oh, that thought. Jojo? Wait, wow. it's Jojo's birthday? Yep. He Wait, just oh. turned 18 and already got fucked. Logan might actually die at the end of this. Oh, you don't take that. Ten what down. the hell? I think it's... Oh, he dies Wait. to Aerie. That uh -huh. is crazy. He lived the fucking ult and Aerie killed him. That was unexpected. So, kills... Going over in the favor of Chiefs, they're picking up just turned 18 and already got fucked. Let's go back to that. What? <laughs> yeah, watch. He's flexing on them hoes. Mm -hmm. Walks up to the club. That was actually well played by Lisa in there. He cues to the minion and then insta war jumps on his ear to block his E. Hmm. And kicks his dumbass. And kicks his dumbass. And look at uh, look at the skill right here. Oh yeah, that is fucking unlucky. Vulcan needed a pot faster. Pot friend. Pot friend. Oh. Uh oh. Let's fucking go, like... EG. Oh! Wait, they're trapped. Wait, that didn't like actually hit game. anyone. Yeah. Chiefs just doesn't have a mid laner. They, they, it's just complete invisibility mid. What do you mean? He's right there. He just died. Yeah. I saw him. He's not invisible. He is the seventh jungle camp, but <laughs> more than that. It, dude, it's so, actually so weird. Like, this Azir Victor matchup seems to always go Azir's way, even though, like, on paper, it doesn't seem like it should be that bad. Like, you'd think Victor would be okay into Azir, but it just never works out. Mm -hmm. You just get fucking scooped on repeat and can't play. What's the, uh, what's the rationale? Like, why is Chiefs... So Chiefs is reacting to Herald being dropped, and then they get cut off by EG. Uh, definitely a good heads-up play. Uh, heads-up. Enemy up. goes for drag, you go for the Herald mid. I think... 
Chiefs just doesn't think that they're going to get fought on the way to mid, but like, that's what good teams do, right? Like, they check, are, are these guys here to defend? Okay, if not, like, where are they coming from? Because like, we can fight them before they even get there. Mm. Probably not used to that. Yeah, Aladoric is actually helping my pickums pretty hard here. What a homie. What is he? Okay. <laughs> that was <laughs> weird. <laughs> Just letting his ass live. I feel like that shit is like never worth. Demoralizing as fuck, bro. Are you kidding me? I don't Mental know. Mental warfare. It's, I feel like it, it's just troll. Hecarim's sitting on a lot of gold. Ezreal ulti and it missed. What does he build? What does he get here? Call it now, quick. Who? Ez? He upgrades the no, magic Hecarim. into Hecarim. a force nature. I'm guessing Maw. 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 Force Maw. nature. Oh! Sneaky! Wow, Wait. Sneaky gets right one time in his whole life. Uh -uh, Wait. Yeah. Yo, dude, that heck, his Hextech alternator procked on the last tick of Leandris to kill him. I didn't even see the fight. I was distracted, celebrating. My Why first win ever. IE? No IE hacker up? Oh. I mean, again, he, you need crit for IE and he just doesn't have any. Oh, link. I mean, what's stopping him from building crit? You just need yeah, three I mean, crit cloaks. Yeah, I itself gives crit. Yeah, it's just three crit cloaks more than that, after. Though. It's really not that expensive. Like 1800 gold? Plus 3400 gold? Alright, They. what if they add Jeweled Gauntlet from TFT into regular league? What's that? What's that? Crit, AP, and let your spells crit. Yo, watch Shoujo's death. Watch how he dies. It's, it's wild. Ready? Wait, how does he die? Alternator. <laughs> that. From what? Huh? Victor's Leandry. Hextech alternator. I don't know how it just came off cooldown at that moment. Leandry's, right? Like He's Leandry's brought in the alternator? In yeah. Hey, that's so... Can alternator really proc while you're Victor, dead? Wait, Victor bought the alternator while dead and it procced? What? Wait, really? Apparently that's what happened, yeah. No way. That's fucking crazy. That's actually a heads up play. What? Is that a thing? Why can't it proc? That sounds like fucking bug. Nope, that's actually skill and intended. Damn. That's actually a fucking all right, crazy all right, all play right. by Tally. Here's a question then. Let's say you're Victor, right? You die, but you're ult sub. You don't have Leandries. You buy Leandries all dead. Do you now proc Leandries? Probably. Really? That's insane. He's aggressive. Then you know that so crazy, dude. Now he's also gone for the prowlers bill, so if he gets that is just range, insane. In the brain. All right, what if you just buy Hextech Alternator? It procs, you sell it, undo, sell it, undo, and just spam it, and you one piece somebody. You can't, you can't, you can't undo. sell. I oh, know, yeah, that'd be so why, cool. you, you could sell and rebuy. Why are you guys just trying to be buzz kills all the time? <laughs> oh. You just can't let me have this. Oh, uh, wait, dude, that's sick, Vinios. Let's try it. Vinios, that's such an insane idea, man. You should do that in a, in a real game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Validation. Oh. oh, you're going I think that's the reason why. Hear me out. Listening? You make, you make an NA super team, right? Of, of like, babies that are raised to be league pros from birth. Like, they're only shown curated content about league and here's the thing you don't show them any real vods of what has happened and you make them think that na wins world every year and they're the most dominant region so they're going into it not feeling like underdogs they're going in feeling like they're the front runners that are supposed to win just so they have that level of confidence do, do they win do they win based on confidence alone yeah and being genetically engineered to be the most insane league players how does that part work like I don't know. We're just in some future. I'm not a scientist. Where they're insane. What? I said we're in some future where they're insane. Yeah. I mean, if they're. And they've just been cut off from the world. So they. Like. They're taught fake history, but they, they don't know it's fake. If they're truly that good, then that would help. Being taught that they win. Invented a cult. <laughs> Talking about indoctrinating people since they're young, brainwashing them, uh, 
has been Keeping them isolated. But it's for their own good. You're brainwashing them for their benefit. Oh, okay. There's no harm in a white lie. It's just the truth, I'd... but bent a little bit. Right. What the fuck? Two pools? I don't think Cowrie hit a single Q in the flat. <laughs> oh, he didn't hit the guy who's in stasis and pool the whole time? What a fucking noob. No, I don't think he was actually in both of those the whole time. Why is Impact the only player in the world playing Gangplank when he looks so broken every game? Wait, what do you mean every game? There's only been one game. Every, every this game. fucking game. Versus OCE every game. So that, that, that was Chief's first time playing against EG? Was, right? Yep. Oh man, the Chief's hack died fast. Wait, it's a birthday cake. Big birthday cake. Take a bite, Jojo, take a bite. What the fuck's on his head? <laughs> Another cake. A menorah. Big birthday, man. Wait, is Jojo Jewish? Why do you say that? I don't know. It looks like a menorah. I guess not from close up. <laughs> That's a good one, Medios. I actually live in a really Jewish area. Like, a lot of my neighbors and stuff are just walking around with yarmulkes on. What would you give the Sharks percentage win chance for this game? Zero. Oh. Wait, they just locked Timo? What? Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, I would like to lower my percentage, actually. <laughs> Wait a sec. Hold the fuck up. I can kind of respect someone just pulling out some bullshit, though, when you know you're fucked. Just trying to cheese the shit out of them. It's gonna go horribly and they're gonna get owned, but it'll be interesting at least. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if he's gonna do the like ghost flash, just obnoxious amount of move speed, Timo. Fought a few of those in solo queue and it's actually not a good time. I actually fucking missed it. This guy, ADD, is actually playing Timo on stage. Yep. What a legend. First team at Worlds, yeah, for like nine years. I think it was played in season three Worlds. By who? Four. Season two or three, I forgot. By the Rain Man? No, I think it was by either Reggie or High. High didn't Reggie. play at Worlds. High played it in LCS, right? Against Bjergsen. Burger. Wasn't it Bjergsen's first game? It was the first game of a split, but I don't. Was it literally Bjergsen's first game? Uh, I think so. It's possible. Intro Bjergsen with the Teemo game. Shit on him. That's nightmare fuel, man. So true, King. Tice is set, Giga Chad. This is a very, like... Kill them early type of matchup. It's really scary for MF to play against. Actually, can't think of a more uncomfortable matchup to play than something like this. Set just running at my ass. Is it specifically game. Kaisa with set or just set in general? <clears throat> um, I don't think oh. Kaisa matters as much. It could be like Callista or Trist or something, but he's just good scaling. It's like you're gonna lose early because or you might lose early because of set, and you're gonna get outscaled because guys can just jump on you late game and one shot you. Makes sense. Uh, good balance that way. Gallo Kaisa as well. He's a fucking beast. What if it's not even Tito top? What if it's Tito jungle? <laughs> oh, wait, what is this, this fucking one? team comp, dude? Lilia, Scion mid. They're actually going for the hardcore cheese angle, which, you know, I don't think it'll work, but 
It's probably not gonna be boring. It would be pretty crazy if, if Isurus won. It's like fucking hometown. I said the weirdest series of coincidences. I was I was watching a video of Man in Cave, so I Googled I like look at the wiki page of the guy who's the main subject of that video. And then I was reading and like somebody's name is Mark Z in this like wiki page. Then I look at my chat, someone mentioned Mark Z. And then I listened into the broadcast and obviously he's talking because Mark Z's on the podcast. <laughs> Weird feeling. Well, listen, you just talked about how Timo's so good into those melee matchups. That is so crazy. Okay, Ignite PTA Tito. Let's fucking see it, dude. That's a I'm ready for this. He's going to do the thing where he just stands there, right? Oh my god, this fucker. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do that? Dude, Timo level 1 doing this strat is so broken. It's so broken, man. Uh, solo kill every game. Let's see it. That was Dude, happening. I saw one clip that was fucking wild. It was his Teemo fighting a Wukong. Wait, what? He just gave up his positioning? So it was a Tito fighting a Wukong, and he just blinded the Wukong and then S-keyed, and it let his passive go off, and he just went stealth, and Wukong couldn't break him out. Oh, oh wow, his lane's going well already. For the few oh fuck, nobody started the timer. Unlucky. Wait a sec. It's two minutes in and there's nothing? Why, why don't the mods fix everything, man? What am I paying them for? Oh my god, this is Lakringa for oh, Timo. Wow. <laughs> Timo's getting out traded level one. Dude, have you heard this Timo's like voice lines, the skin? Yeah. He's Legit like, like a lethal assassin. No, he's like fucking. Vietnam PT PTSD type shit. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me an example. What does he say? Fucking. I'll pull up some quotes. Like one shot, one kill, or like I don't know. No, he's like. He says one shot, one kill. That's a quote in league. It's an eighty carry. Oh, go stealth, Tito. Go stealth. Caitlyn. Oh wow, Timo instantly dead. That is a shock to everyone. I've done things I'm not proud of. You don't know about war. You'd be surprised how quick fur ignites. A part of you never leaves the jungle. <laughs> wow. That is pretty dark. We ain't all making it out of here. <laughs> Yeah, holy fuck. One day there'll be a reckoning. <laughs> Some vests you never take off is actually pretty good. Peace is a fairy tale. <laughs> the war never ends. The battlefield just changes. <laughs> Legit, like, so scarred. Wait, is ISG's mid laner like the Sia from Latin America? Yeah. It's, it's him, dude. Huh. Why? What's up? Just thought it's interesting. Wait. <laughs> down the wave, RNG. Fight the range. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flashy, flashy, flashy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that MF reaction was fucking insane. How is Way allowed to just gank everything? Oh! Jelly? Hold up, he flashed in to kill himself. Oh. And the rest of them as well, it seems. Unlucky. <laughs> Oh, take the turret shot for fun. Let's go. Can we remake? Sure. Can we remake like this? Yeah, you fucking cheese ganked our Tito. Like that's you're not even playing league. Literally. She's pathetic and sad. Uh, but like, dude, it's so obvious that RNG's trying super hard. That's it's disgusting, much man. It's disgusting. Yep. You guys are trying so hard to win this. If this hook hits Ming instead of Wei, it's actually insane. But because he flash hooks and it hits... Yeah, it's like they're not going to kill that. 
It was an extremely heads up play by Way to block the hook. It was so heads up, bro. I don't know about that one, but okay. Fucking LPL is too OP at skirmishing. Yup. Weird RNG try harding. <laughs> ISG meanwhile, for fun pick Tito. Dude, dude, meanwhile, you, literally, you know that ISG is not even trying that hard because it's not that serious. They're like playing Teemo top with Swifties Rush. Like, how serious could they actually be playing? <laughs> This is the game for all the marbles. You wouldn't get it. You wouldn't understand, man. Who has the marbles? They have all the marbles. Nah, now Teemo's shrooms are online. It's fucking... This is where the matchup flips. Sure. Oh my god, that smoke bomb cheese was brutal. Oh, oh my god. Lee. All right, Ming. Set got so much better when Glacial got put into the game because he never needed Aftershock anyways, but like that would never kill without Glacial. Um, um, he got fucking sucked into a slow. That fucked lasts, like, and sucked. Sometimes you that just get down 4k gold in uh, seven minutes. Unfortunate, really. Dude, I, I am just feeling for ISG's bot lane. Like, they didn't play well, but like, holy fuck, I would hate this matchup. Just don't pick Nautilus, MF Nautilus blind. They can play stupid shit like this. What's wrong with MF Nautilus blind? You're just like really prone to feeding your balls off if they play Ooh. something early game. My balls? Oh. Oh. Jesus. Mistimed. Breathe is playing really well. I like that he doesn't even flinch. Like, he does, does not let the team of pick do anything. <laughs> And I guess this is why no one plays Teemo top or Zillion top. If you play it against good players, you're going to get farmed. Yep. <laughs> Wait, even fucking Set has more gold than anyone on ISG. Yeah, he's bad as fuck. I've never though. seen the all five members higher than the highest on the other team. That's a new one. Yeah. Sneaky would be... Pogging about that stat if he wasn't playing Lost Ark. What the hell? Is, What's is up? Breeze getting coached by LS? Is this little cheeser freezing the fucking lane, men? Dude, this is getting me back. flashbacks to Sneaky versus Trisha as a birdie first time in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sticky, especially the uh, sneaky Aatrox part. Oh, oh, oh! Imagine dying to Teemo. What the fuck? Dude, That's solo sad. killed by Teemo. You're actually crazy. lol, dude. RNG Holy is shit. fucking washed. RNG is actually losing this worlds. Lost to fucking Teemo, Omega lol. My chat says he showed. Lilia showed in the bush, but he didn't notice. Well, clearly he didn't show if he was in the bush, dumbass. Ooh! Oh, that you got got. I'll map awareness. LOL! Just wait until, wait until ISG starts playing a little more serious. Oh, wow, he got him on the flash. Wait, he's fine. Wait, Ming's dead. Yeah, he's, he's good. Wait. Oh, wait, Galar. Oh, dude, the wrong he's, he's so good here, Medios. Oh! Hey! Oh, 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 if he didn't take that tower shot, dude. Jesus. Did anybody see that? Is anyone actually watching this fucking game? That was so crazy. Just me? All right, cool. Gala fucked up the RW, actually. I want them to show the replay on that, because I, I think most people would have missed it. It's pretty. It was pretty hard to do at that angle. You need, to, you need to actually wait a little bit on shooting your W. Okay. Ooh, MasterCard Mythic at 1, or 11, 18. Why does Graves have a QSS? Because 
Emo is forcing him to. It has nothing to do with Lily asleep. <laughs> Say it. It's the Teemo. Another solo kill? Wait a sec. Teemo's fucking broken. Oh, breathe! Oh! Holy oh fuck. God. And Tito takes down another. No prisoners. No way breathe played it that well. No War never way changes. played it that well. Keep my eyes on bot lane. If Teemo manages to solo kill Aatrox again, that could be pretty bad. <laughs> Teemo's getting dangerously close to that first item. <laughs> you don't want to know what happens when ISG ADD gets serious with Teemo top. <laughs> Yo, guys, I think Teemo is just not the pick. Uh, next time they blind Aatrox, I'll, I'll, let me just go Quinn or Vayne. Uh, I just... <laughs> Like, I'll shit on him so hard he won't even be able to breathe. Like, sh should we really just be letting Graves gank top level 3 like that? I was fucking this guy before there. I got jungle gapped. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Yeah, I actually, you know what? I I, I think I think every time they blind a Aatrox, like, we just need the stronger jungler. I, I, I can't play Dude, otherwise. Dude, like, like just, just, just come top. We win that 2v2. I'm <laughs> shitting on him. I have Ignite. Holy come on, dude. Shit. <laughs> Too fucking good. <laughs> What you th you think farming raptors is better than two v killing both of them top and winning the game instantly? Okay. I guess raptors is just more important. Oh my god! He go! <laughs> These bastards! Get down, Mr. President! Get down! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Yo, guys! I got five shoved. I gotta I gotta move timing. I'm coming mid. Oh god! <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna go stealth here. Oh, fuck, they found me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, I guess their support can just do that. Holy fuck, really? Should we really just be letting Set go through like this? 23. <laughs> <laughs> These games are too funny, man. Like, yeah, him back. I can't focus. They actually picked fucking <laughs> Teemo top. This is the first seed from Latin America playing at home. <laughs> Teemo top. Let's fucking go. I what swear to fuck fucking bro. god, the night before this, they had gotten clapped so hard in the scrims. They're like, guys, how the fuck are we going to win against RNG tomorrow? Anyone have any ideas? Yep. All right, you know, we just we gotta play our game. game, guys. We gotta we gotta not overly respect them. They're just players like us. No, I mean I think the Fuck, most important ADD, thing what's is that, that pocket we pick go out you there got? and we play proactive because like if we play reactive, we let them play their game, then like they're just gonna control us all the time. Dude, just just play our game. You know, let's like, pick comfort, man. Scion mid, Tito top. <laughs> let's fucking go. Dude, fucking pro players these days, they just don't have any creativity. Like, all they want to do is just play the meta, but they, they don't know how to counter the meta. They're not always thinking, they're not thinking critically. Okay, well, let's play Teemo tomorrow. It's Teemo yeah. time. These guys will have no idea how to play against my shrooms, dude. <laughs> Aatrox can't do anything after the first couple solo kills he'll get on me. <laughs> then I, the matchup just flips. I start winning. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, guys, I got a move timer toward me. What will we do? <laughs> Dude, I have so many moves all the time. I can just always go mid on like every wave. I don't, we can't do anything? We fucking shit. <laughs> I'm getting top prio, guys. Yo, play around me. Play around me. Yo, we can get this tower. Oh, Dude, I'll have another move here. Move any wave. Like, of course it was a good pick. He's he's too scared to even lean against me. Actual puss. Alright, yo, yeah, yeah, everyone rotate to me. Oh god, Aatrox is here. Uh, I I win this. If all if all of us are here. It's actually a free kill. Top is so free. Top is free. Why what are you doing in river? Come kill his ass. <laughs> okay, okay, let's just dive this, dive this fast. Dude, God, he's so free. Oh, well, they're fine. Top is so free. Top is so free. Wait, dude, this is the guy that's playing fucking Zillion top, too.
Yeah, I know. Dude, you didn't hear what I was saying? Like, we just we just played the most random Oh hit. my god! Oh my god! What, why are you behind the turret? This guy's just- <laughs> he's obliterating me! He's so free! We need to just dive top there, dude! Oh dude, why did you wait god. so long? Oh my god, I got just... baited again. <laughs> Actually, this Dude! If we switch junglers, I am fucking this guy's mom all the way back to China, man. Like, holy, holy shit. Holy fucking balls. It's so good. Hey, let me just stack a little tempo off you real quick. Okay, thanks. I'm just gonna push bot for the rest of the game. You, you guys were, like, you're just not letting me carry. <laughs> I'm just gonna split bot. That's actually what's happening now. <laughs> no, to be honest though, like, realistically speaking, their best chances of Teemo sprints it down side lane permanently and tries to turn the game to a 4v4. Like, if Aatrox spends Flash or ulti killing him solo, like, that's a, that's a win. Yeah, that's usually what I consider a win. <laughs> that's a fucking dub. I mean, at this game state, that's what you consider a win. Dude, I don't. His map pressure is kind of insane. Aatrox is too scared to even walk up. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> You I, I can't even push you guys don't have mid prio. They're just rotating on me all game. <laughs> These are all real words, real comms coming out from him. <laughs> how how the fuck are we so accurate with our listeners? Oh, we're crazy, man. And then to also have it be RNG who just won MSI and even DRX while they were struggling all right, guys, I'm, I'm coming mid. I, I, I'll get this prio myself. Uh, Fuck it. You <laughs> should actually just do the young Fappy in this mid. I'm not joking. He needs to just get in there mid lane and just stand there AFK until until Kaiser gets like 1v1 or some shit. I don't know. Like, he has sure. to do something. Yeah, maybe we could have done something, but this is yeah. a tough draw. It is so, so difficult. Um... Just like fucking Thanos said, <laughs> fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> Yo, Plank, Plank, oh man. <laughs> Dude, this pussy got Umbro for me. I can't fucking play. Oh my god. I'm just gonna let him clear my shrooms all game? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, let's just team fight him. <laughs> I have a huge flank here. This is winning, winning. I, oh, great, find it, great, find it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, help, 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 help. Yo team out, help me. <laughs> all me like that. Where is my team? Where is my team? Dies instantly. <laughs> uh, I blinded Graves and we still lose this? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my fucking god, bro. X D D I can't. I fucking can't, bro. <laughs> Who knew that this game would be so banger, guys? <laughs> I mean, a lock in fucking T. It wasn't even like a last pick Teemo. It was like a Teemo in the first three. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> They did, they're afraid of getting banned out, so they locked the Teemo in early. Yep. <laughs> what are their comms actually? Yo, let's just group up and get shit on. Like, I don't know. I mean, dude, I don't know. Let's just, let's just fight him, man. Fuck it. Let's just keep fighting. Oh, shit. I got three of them on me, dude. Come on. Help. As well, it is. Uh, I would oh, say dude, you're gonna make me. Uh, you're gonna uh, actually kill me. Oh, holy shit, I'm like choking my water. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> holy fuck, dude. You're just gonna let him post up down there in that bush. <laughs> dude, Timo's getting the setup on this drag. He's actually dude, gonna he can go down a whole bush invisible. Yeah. 
Ocean Drag's OP. For oh, they killed the shroom. He's, he's getting quite the lurk off right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, never mind. His team gave him away. Oh, I guys, think what they need to do is, by the way, are like these comms are actually oh. based on pure experience from tilted teammates. Yep. <laughs> like these comms are actually real. <laughs> oh my god, Timo's fucking dead. <laughs> oh, dude, Atrox is wasting everything on me. Yo, we can win this. We can win this. Just go, just go, just go. Atrox got nothing. He's got Bro, nothing. He uses a full kit. The fuck. Yeah, this is so sad to watch. I guess we can just let Atrox flank me like this. Whatever, guys. Whatever. There's, why did they pick this shit, man? Like, this whole comp. Dude, like, I, 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 I'm, I'm just not going to play Teemo anymore. anymore. don't even play off me. Like, no, no one's even playing with me. Why is it even worth picking Teemo and just tanking my win rate with him? <laughs> He's my best champion. Oh and you guys just don't let me succeed. Fucking God. I guess this Aatrox is just too good solo killing me all game. <laughs> They are going to end the game with no Mythic on Teemo, really. <laughs> Can they just not stall long enough for him, or what? Dude, they're just not playing around this pick very well. Man, they're, they're literally just going to let him get focused like that. Unbelievable. Wow, 33 deaths in a 25-minute game Statement in the game World Championship. <clears throat> Dude, look at everyone's score on RNG. They're all fucking 700 bounty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I didn't play great, but can we talk about our 2 and 14 bot lane? <laughs> Dude, even if I won my lane, we couldn't win when their bots this fed. <laughs> That's actually true, though. <laughs> it didn't even matter. Teemo was not the problem here. What what pick could I have gone that would have would have been able to carry with his bot lane? <laughs> Dude, I feel so bad for them. This is fucked up. They're gonna hate each other after this world. No way. They don't give a shit, dude. They picked fucking Teemo. They're not actually trying to win.